Okay, here's a solution for a problem that we did that was a very general one. We had a problem about a velocity versus time graph. And the example was, if you know that the velocity v naught is the velocity at time equals zero, and you know that the slope of this line is A, can you find the area under this curve? In other words, we have the idea that the change in the position during this motion, the change in the position is the area under the curve. Why? Because delta x is equal to v delta t for small steps delta t. And so if v is changing, we need to add up all of the area over that time. Okay, so here's what we did. We said let's take then uh, this as two parts. Let's say that the area is equal to first the rectangle, which is v naught times t plus the triangle, which is one half. Now it's the final minus the initial. It's just the height times the base t. Well, we can rewrite this in terms of what we know. So it's one half the difference between the final velocity of any time t and the initial is just the acceleration times t. Now there's one more t. And so when we um, reduce all this, we get that x minus x naught, the change in the position, is v naught t plus one half a t squared. So in fact, what we usually do is we, in fact, let's see, just write it like this by adding v naught to both sides. And this was the answer. This is, in fact, the second kinematic equation. If you've taken calculus, it looks familiar. If not, just remember it's the, we got it by taking the area of a rectangle plus the area of a triangle. So when we were doing problems that had specific numbers in it, say we did a problem that had a um, velocity of six meters per second, and the slope here was uh, negative one meters per second squared, how you would write that is that the position as it changes, so the difference between its final and its initial at any time is six meters per second in this example times time plus one half negative one meters per second squared times time squared. So if you plug in a value for time here, you would get the change in the displacement.